Hey there, Posse. Does it feel like with each passing year, uh, your, your hard-earned dollars are worth less and less? You watch my videos and learn all about wine, but to be honest, it's, it all sounds really great for someone else, for someone who can afford it. Well, if that's you, then this video is for you. Today, I'm going to highlight some tremendous low-cost wines. <laughs> you don't want to miss this one. Hey, Posse, I'm Pierre, and welcome to Asti Wine Consultants. I'm calling this video Top Wines for Date Night on, on a Budget because the reality is so many of us love to, to break out a bottle of wine as a wonderful addition to a romantic date night, but sometimes it can feel like the cost factor really gets in the way. And so I want to help you, help you out by, by pointing you sort of in the right direction for wines that are typically less expensive. Oh, uh, additionally, I have a little bonus at the very end. Are you ready? Come on, let's get started. Now, for you white wine lovers, Sauvignon Blanc is, is a refreshing choice with notes of citrus like uh, lime and grapefruit, uh, as well as green apple, passion fruit, peach, and, and some actually some gooseberries. Now, to add a little romantic flair to, to your Sauvignon Blanc, you might want to consider a French white Bordeaux. A white Bordeaux is a, typically a Sauvignon Blanc or a Sauvignon Blanc Simeon blend. Now, with the French Sauvignon Blanc, you'll probably pick up on flavors of, of freshly cut grass and herbaceous notes like, like green bell pepper. Uh, generally speaking, when you think Bordeaux, you think uh, red and pricey, but you can find some really good reds and whites for a reasonable price. I'm suggesting a white Bordeaux because it's a versatile food wine, plus you can find a great one at a reasonable price. For me, the Sauvignon Blanc coming out of Australia or New Zealand have gotten more pricey and their big grapefruity flavor is not, not as versatile uh, to pair with a variety of different foods. Actually, staying with another romantic country is my number two wine, which is uh, an Italian Pinot Grigio. Actually, you can get a Pinot Grigio from just about anywhere in the world. Well, now, when it comes to Italy, it's known as Pinot Grigio. From other areas of the world, including America, it's known as Pinot Gris. Uh, these wines are known for their light, crisp, and citrusy character. Uh, they're light, dry, and fruity with flavors including lemon and lime and pear, uh, some nectarine and some apple. Uh, you might also detect uh, sort of faint notes of honey or honeysuckle. So you can get a Pinot Grigio or Gris that's budget friendly. However, get this. If you're looking for one that's more flavorful, light, and easy drinking, I'd stick with those coming out of Italy. Now, our number three wine is Chardonnay. Chardonnay wines vary widely in style. You'll find them anywhere from oaky and buttery to uh, clean and crisp. The clean and crisp often showcase more tropical fruits and, and tasting notes of uh, pineapple and papaya, mango, uh, maybe a little bit of guava, uh, while the oaky Chardonnay, like I have here, have more flavors of cinnamon, clove, and vanilla, and hints of butter. Now, during the fall and winter, I would go with modestly priced oaky Chardonnays. Uh, you can get those from the U.S., primarily California. Now, during the spring and summer, the clean and crisp are the way to go, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, France's white burgundies are the, the clean and crisp type Chardonnays. You know, what you want to do is you want to ask your wait staff or um, the wine shop specialist for a modestly priced white burgundy. Uh, and with that, you really can't go wrong. Now, how are you doing there? Is this information helpful? 
If it is, write ASTI in the comments below. Are you ready to, to go over to the, to the, the budget-friendly Romantic Reds plus my bonus? Get ready. Here we are. Number four wine is Malbec. Malbec is a full-bodied wine from uh, France, uh, and it's mo mostly grown in Argentina now. The French Malbec is more savory and tart with uh, firm tannins and flavors of, of plum and leather, while the Argentinian is more big fruit forward with uh, a velvety texture and flavors of cocoa and, and plum. As most of you know, I have a tendency to, to enjoy those wines that, that are more subtle and food friendly. That means I tend to enjoy old world wines more than new world wines. Now, for more on that, you might want to check out uh, my, my video about old world versus new world wines. Anyway, I'd go with the French Malbec. They come out of Bordeaux. French or Argentinian, uh, you can't go wrong with a Malbec. Number five is Merlot. Now, Merlot is known for its softer tannins and approachable character with flavors of red fruit and plum, and sometimes a little bit of a hit of, of, of chocolate. Now, in America, Merlot fell out of favor between 20 and 30 years ago. Now, it's incredibly popular in other areas uh, uh, of, the, of the wine world. This is a classic supply and demand situation. The supply is relatively high and the demand in the U.S. is relatively low. Because of that, you're going to find some really nice prices. Its characteristics, uh, flavors, and pricing make it perfect for a romantic evening. Next up is Cabernet Sauvignon. This one is a no-brainer. Cabs are widely available. You know, said another way, it has glutted the market. The gigantic supply uh, presses the prices down. Uh, you can actually find some excellent affordable options. They often have dark fruit flavors and a hint of spice. Now, number seven is Carmenier. Carmenier is a grape varietal uh, originally from Bordeaux, but is now primarily associated with chili. It has easy tannins and a velvet texture uh, accompanied by uh, black fruit flavors of, uh, say, uh, blackberry, uh, black cherry, and plum with uh, spicy notes of clove and a little bit of black pepper. Uh, so this one falls between a Merlot and a Cabernet. It's usually blended with another grape variety, primarily coming out of France. Now, as a single varietal, it's going to be a, a little bit harder to find. If you see it on the menu or in the store, get it. This one is unique. Number eight is Grenache. Grenache is one of my personal favorites. It's known as Grenache when it comes out of France and Garnacha when it comes from Spanish or other Spanish-speaking countries. Grenache or Garnacha is the same wonderful grape it appeals to a lot of people with its easy tannins and intense uh, fruity and herbal notes. You'll pick up on strawberries, black cherries, and raspberries with hints of cinnamon and anise. It's like you're drinking a fruit roll-up. Now frequently, Grenache is blended with other grapes. Grenache coming out of Spain and South America or are really affordable and really flavorful. If you're going with Garnacha, do a Spanish. Number nine is Tempranillo. Tempranillo is a key grape in Spanish wines like Rioja. Remember that frequently it will say Rioja on the bottle. The most dominant flavors are red fruits including cherries plus uh, dried fig, cedar, and, and tobacco. Now before you, you get our bonus budget wine, we have a number 10 on our list. Now, this number 10 is Zinfandel. Zins can provide bold fruit flavor, including blackberries, raspberries, boysenberries, and cherries, as well as black pepper, cloves, and cinnamon. Oh, and, and anise, and, and a variety of other herbs. You can find some well-priced Zinfandels coming out of California. Now, also, 
to add something a little bit special, uh, you could do a Primitivo. Primitivo is nothing more than a Zinfandel coming out of Italy. It's only more romantic. It matches perfectly with a steak coming off, off the grill. Actually, if you add strawberries at the end, that's a perfect night and a perfect romantic night on a budget. Well, there you have it. The top 10 wines for date night on a budget. But hold tight for the bonus. The last option I'm giving you is a sparkling wine. Now, if it's champagne, it'll be expensive. However, you can get a sparkling wine from anywhere in the world at virtually every price point. My recommendation is a Spanish Cava. Cava will be one of the more flavorful sparkling wines, yet it is at a very a reasonable price. It's typically a dry sparkling wine with light to medium body. It, it brings with it a zesty citrus flavor along with uh, mineral notes plus some baked and nutty notes like, like uh, baked apple and, and almonds. Uh, maybe a little bit of toasty brioche. So, so to wrap all this up, when selecting a budget wine for your, your date night, consider looking for wines from less well-known regions or wine regions that aren't as prestigious. These wines often provide excellent value for the price. Additionally, consider checking for wines labeled as either, either reserve or, or estate from smaller producers. These wines can be more affordable while still being uh, of high quality. And then lastly, don't hesitate to ask for recommendations at your local wine shop or from a sommelier if you're, if you're dining out. They can often point you towards great value options that uh, suit your taste and budget. Well, there you have it. I hope you, you have a wonderful date. Let me know how it goes. Cheers. Hey Posse, thanks so much for investing the time to watch this video. I trust it was helpful to you. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And please consider hitting subscribe. Oh, and be sure to check out these other videos. Until next time, cheers.